And I sent my word And I healed your disease I am the Lord Your healer You sent your word And you healed my disease You are the Lord My healer Yes you are Good evening, everyone. It is Sunday, December 26, 2021, and you are tuned in to the Nature's Way program here on Waves 96.3 FM. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 31 tells us, Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. I am Debbie Price, your moderator, and with me this evening in studio is a very, very, very special guest that we have that will be sharing in our program this evening. I just want to tell you a little bit about our special guest that we have this evening. You know, we have been blessed with... Um, professionals on this program and this evening we have Ms. Angela Hewitt that is here with us. Now just to let our listeners know, welcome listeners, those who are on YouTube, those who are on the radio, welcome. Ms. Angela Hewitt is an international speaker and a health promoter. Now she is a certified natural nutritionist a certified gospel medical missionary, and she is now completing her doctorate in naturopathy. Now, once she has completed her doctorate, she will be practicing as a, lic as a licensed naturopathic doctor right here in Jamaica. And we have few of those here in Jamaica, so we welcome these doctors um, here in Jamaica. Now, she is the founder and owner of Leap Ministries and Leap 2 Health Food Store in Ocheria, St. Anne. And later on in the program, she'll be letting us know about the location and what she has to offer right there at Leap 2 Health Food Store. She is also the owner of Leap to Health Nutrition and Natural Herbs, and this is based in Canada. Welcome, 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 Angela. Thank you so very much. It's my pleasure and honor to be here. Right, right. And it's our pleasure to have you here in studio, live with us this, this evening. Right, so what we do on the program um, is that we introduce our, our, our guests, we introduce our topics, and we remind our listeners. And listeners, I want to remind you, please get your pens and your pencils and your notepads out because this evening you're in for a treat. A vital um, information will be passed on to you, so you will need to take this information down, right? Um, just uh, we will be discussing a very, very important topic, a topic that, you know, it, it's a troublesome to a lot of women. And um, what you said, no, um, two in um, one in two women suffer from this condition. The topic that we'll be discussing is fibroids. But as usual, I want to tell our listeners that the materials contained in the, the presentation is informative in nature and is not intended to serve as diagnosis, treatment, prevention, or cure of any specific health condition of our listeners. We give no guarantee of, nor assume any liability for any outcome resulting from the use of this information. And as we always say, we are simply sharing with you what we have learned and are practicing ourselves. Now, before we go any further, Angela, it is customary that we contact, we, we have to contact 
our Dr. God. Amen. Because without him, we can't go on. So listeners, as usual, wherever you are, please bow your heads with us. Our kind, compassionate Heavenly Father, we give you praise today. We give you the glory and the honor. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your love towards us. Lord, we come this evening here on the Nature's Way program giving you our all. We thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us to be co-workers with you. And help us, dear Lord, to be submissive to your words and be with our listeners and help them, dear Lord, to purpose in their hearts that they will change their lifestyles so that they can be healthy people ready to serve you. Be with us, we pray, and help that as we pass on this information that it will be, persons will be receptive and make a change in their lives as a result. Be with us, we pray, and say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, as we said, we'll be discussing fibroids. And um, we have Angela in studio with us. And she will be going through. And um, just to let you, just to remind you, listeners, that you can WhatsApp us on 876-321-1889. Or you can call us on 876-619-1537. Our producer is standing by waiting for your call or you can participate in our live chat right on the YouTube. So good nature's way program. So welcome. And I, I pray that as we go through today that, you know, you will be filled with information. (laughs) Okay. So Angela, how are you? I am very well. Thank you so much for having me here. It's a pleasure. I give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen. Amen. And we are so happy to have you. So I am going to turn over to you so that you can navigate us through. It is 5.15 here on Nature's Way program, Waves 96.3 FM. And you remember you are tuned into the only program, the only program on this station that guide you on the path to a wholesome, healthy living. Thank you so much. And I am sure the listeners are aware that this station provides education to people so they can enjoy better health. Mm -hmm. And that's God's wish for us. He says in his words, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your souls prospereth. And that is the word of God to his children. He yes. wants us to be healthy and happy. What a wonderful God we serve. Amen. Sister Deva, I hope you remember to send out the link because people are waiting yes, all over man. the world. Yes, man. Once it's, once it's up, it's up. Okay. <laughs> and so to my friends in Canada, welcome. If you're there, my family, wherever you are, hope you got the link and you'll be watching and you'll be blessed. So as was mentioned by the moderator, we're talking about fibroids. It's an issue that women are bothered with. And as Debbie rightly pointed out, one in two simply means that if you're among a group of persons, let us say you're two together, one of you may have fibroids. Mm -hmm. So therefore you can relate to what we're going to be talking about. Fibroid, it's really a tumor. And you might be asking, what's a tumor? Let me tell you what a tumor is. A tumor, it's a container in the body. The body stores toxin in in a bag. Mm -hmm. The body uses tumors as containers to store toxic waste collected throughout the body. Now, the body has several elimination systems. Some of them are your lungs, your bowels, your kidneys, your liver, and the skin. But when these organs become overloaded the body god is so amazing in how he has built our bodies oh yes he is when the body is when the body becomes so overloaded with toxins what happens the body pulls all these toxins together and store them in a little container Mm -hmm. and that is what we refer to as tumors now the body does that so as not to poison the body What an amazing body we have. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So as not to release the toxin and have the toxins going all over the body and poison the blood because we're so sick, the body collects them and have them in this little container stored somewhere in the body. And that's exactly what a fibroid is. So when our systems of eliminations, they become clogged or they're inadequate to care for the excess, the the refuse in the body, Mm -hmm. now the body starts what? 
manufacturing garbage, can't we call it? Mm -hmm. Or these are tumors mm -hmm. and place in the waste in these bags. Mm -hmm. So you can relate if you've got a garbage bag at home, right? You all put your garbage together in that bag. That's exactly what a tumor is. And a fibroid is a tumor. Yeah. Hope you're understanding when I talk about the fi fibroid being a tumor mm -hmm. and how the body functions to prevent us from killing ourselves. Yes, yes. We're going to be looking at fibroids. There are many different kinds of fibroids. And briefly, I'll touch on a few of them. And also, time if time allows, I'll be looking at some prevention mm -hmm. and what we can do to treat. So causes, symptoms, prevention, and treatment of fibroids. And le let me just warn you, Angela, the, the, one, the, the time just flies on this program. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. So, so can Fibroids can be one, cancerous or non-cancerous, but mainly they're non-cancerous because most women are living with fibroids for most of their lives. Yes. And if it were cancerous, you would have died already. Mm -hmm. So these, they can grow within the walls of the uterus. They can be small, large, single or multiple. Mm -hmm. Some women have multiple fibroids. Some women have fibroids so big. I remember one of her doctors, a naturopathic doctor, she treated a woman. And with all natural remedies, because on this program, we talk about natural remedies, the remedies that God has given to us to yes. bless the nation. Yes. So she was treating this woman with natural remedies. And the lady shared the story that she sat on the toilet and she heard a big plop. And when she wow. looked, that was a t the fibroid that came out. It was so bigger than a grapefruit. Wow. And so women, some have a fibroid as big as a watermelon. So these can be vary in sizes. Yes. If they're very small, maybe a few centimeters, the doctors will tell you it's okay. You might not need to treat that one. It will go away by itself or it will shrink. Mm -hmm. So it's so important that you know what's going on in your body. Now, what are the different types of fibroids that we have? We have what is called an intramural fibroids, and these are the most common ones, and they grow in the wall of the uterus. Then we have the subs subserosal fibroids, and they grow on the outside of the uterus. These can grow very, very large. They can be so painful, especially to the because of the pressure they're putting on the organs nearby. Mm -hmm. Some people have these fibroids sitting on their bladder, and so it causes them to be running to the bathroom quite often. Mm -hmm. We also have another one. It's called a submucosal fibroid, and this one grows just beneath the uterine lining and can crawl into the uterus cavity and lead to heavy bleeding, yes. among other serious complications. Mm -hmm. And this one, it is so common among women. They have a lot of heavy bleeding, especially around the time of their period, mm -hmm. and they're bleeding nonstop. But I hasten to say to the women living with fibroids that there is hope for you. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. We also have what is called pedunculated fibroids. These grow on the small on small stalks inside or outside of the uterus. And if you were to do, go to the doctor and you get your test done, you do an x-ray, you'll see these on your results, how they grow like little stalks. Mm -hmm. They could be inside or outside the uterus. And then we've got the intracavity fibroids. And these also can grow on very long stalks inside of the uterus or outside. Now, it is possible that we could have more than one of these type of fibroids. Wow. Now, fibroids increase in size in women. They vary. Now, what causes fibroids? That's a question that so right. many women are asking. Yes, yes. It is when we've got too much or an increase in the estrogen level in the body. That could be one of the main causes. And in fact, that is one of the number one causes of fibroids. And when we talk about estrogen, there are different sources that we're getting the estrogen from. So as a woman, our body's naturally, God has created the body in such a way that it produces estrogen. Now, what is estrogen? It's a hormone that makes a woman a woman, simply put. So, it's so a question, um, the, your body produces estrogen naturally. So when you have excess nest, um, estrogen, then then that is that is when the, the fibroids um, is formed. Exactly. Okay. So, so the excess can lead, lead to, to formation of fibroids. Right. Good, good. Thank you. And we're also doing our bodies harm mm -hmm. because of the additional stuff we're putting in our bodies containing 
the additional hormones. Yes. Another cause of fibroids to be low vitamin D level. And listen to me, people, vitamin D is essential. It's vital that we're getting, you know, vitamin D. And what is the number one source of vitamin D? I can hear somebody saying it or I can right. see you typing it in the chat. <laughs> Whether you're on Facebook or on YouTube. That three-letter word. In. Exactly. <laughs> what is the number one source of natural vitamin D? That is the sun. Right. Come on, somebody. I can hear you saying it. Yes, the sun. So it is so important that we go out and we get our sun. So many people, we live in Jamaica, and yet we're not getting enough sunlight. Mm -hmm. When I was in Canada, I longed to see the sun. And praise God, I'm home for Christmas, not in the winter anymore, in so many years. I am here, and so I'm trying to get my vitamin D. So get out in the sun. We're all locked up in the houses, and we're not getting enough vitamin D. So a low level can contribute to you having fibroids. Ladies, listen up. Other things could be hormone disruptors. And there's so many things that could disrupt our hormones, stuff we're putting in our bodies or even on our skin, Yes. Another one is a thyroid imbalance. And a lot of women also have thyroid imbalance. You'll find that they've got hypo, hypoactive or underactive thyroid. And so it can lead into fibroid as well if you've got thyroid imbalance. So whether it's high or whether it's low, it can, can contribute to, okay. yes. Okay. And for women with it's overactive thyroid problems. Some of them will lose weight and they got the big goiter under the neck. Mm -hmm. And the opposite for persons with the Low, underactive. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we're really talking about the fibroids this evening. Next, another time we could talk about thyroid issues. Right. Now, with estrogen, what does estrogen do? As I mentioned before, mm -hmm. it is what causes a woman to be a woman. So it helps us develop and maintain both the reproductive system and female characteristics such as breast and pubic hair. Estrogen combines to cognitive health, how we think, how we feel, or moods, you name it. Also bone health. So a lot of women will suffer from osteoporosis or weak bones or fragile bones or brittle bones. It's because we're having a problem with our hormones. Also, it helps with the function of the cardiovascular system, the functioning of our heart, as well as other essential bodily processes. Mm -hmm. So, yes, estrogen is very important. And for women who do not produce enough estrogen levels, you find their doctors will put them on hormone imbalance, hormones to help or give them estrogen to help them to balance off. Yeah. But if you have excess, but so can you see what's happening? If you have low, there's a problem. And if you have too much, it could still be a problem. Mm -hmm. So, and that is why the Lord has created balance in the right, system. Right. The system needs a balance. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the sources of estrogen? Mm -hmm. Some of the sources of estrogen we're talking about soy, and this is what the GMO soy. I know it is commonly stated that we're not supposed to be eating soybeans. That's mm -hmm. a myth. The ones we're not supposed to be eating is the GMO one. Right. Soy is the highest source of protein on the face of the earth. Yes, and, and as you mentioned that we have somebody in the chat asking, um, what are some of the foods um, to what foods contribute to excess production of estrogen or estrogen or estrogen? It yes. depends on where you're from. So for the mm -hmm. American English, it's estrogen. And if you're from the British English, it's estrogen. So you're not incorrect, depending on your pronunciation. Also, we've got isolated genistein. And this occurs in certain foods such as soy, fava beans, among other supplements and pharmaceuticals. Yes. Yes. Then we also have preservatives such as microwave popcorn, soup mixes, and even chewing gum. I used to chew gum before I became a medical missionary mm -hmm. and before I started my studies. And because I've learned that gums, it has in what is called a purple galate, and this is a preservative that contributes yeah. to overproduction of estrogen in the body. Yes. that can result in fibroids. I've stopped chewing gum and I'm not dead. So ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, whoever you are, you can stop chewing gum, you won't die. Mm -hmm. Another source is oral contraceptive and birth control pill. I used to hear this a long time ago from when I was a child. 
But at the time they talk about blockage of your tube, that's what I used to hear. But it does contribute to fibroids. So the excess hormone, it's secreted into the urine and it also enters into the water supply system, damaging the environment. Then guess what? It's going into the water supply system because we're taking these pills. It's excreted in the urine. It's, it goes into the water supply system. That water is recycled and comes back into our pipe. So mm -hmm. all of that, even though it's uh, treated, the hormone still is still left in the water. And yeah. thus people end up with this excess hormone a lot especially a lot of foods that we're eating do you notice that girls are becoming more mature quite earlier even boys are developing breasts and yes. you wonder what is going on mm -hmm. yes. and so this is a big issue this excess of estrogen in the body mm -hmm. we also have another substance and this is a preservative used in shellfish and so a lot of people tend to like their seafoods I am so happy that you mentioned that because from the last um, three programs that we had, one of the, the things that we told our listeners and our viewers that they are to eliminate from their diet is the shellfish. Come on. So you see, you hear listeners, it's coming up back again. <laughs> exactly. And for the women, this, this preservative is called Everfresh and it is used to preserve because when you're eating meat or seafood, simply put, you're eating dead carcass. And if it were not preserved, then you're eating rotten meat. The only thing that's keeping you from eating rotten meat is because it's been preserved. And so that's what they use to preserve the shellfish. It's called Everfresh. And this contributes to what? Fibroids. Fibroids. Mm -hmm. Also pregnancy. Pregnancy increases the amount of estrogen in the body. And this is a natural process. Mm -hmm. this, this is a natural process, but it also provides an excess of estrogen in the body. No, I'm going to be sharing some information that some people might not like to listen to. But even plastic containers, and that is why we're promoting you use glass instead of plastic. Yes. Because of the material. It's yes. used in food processing, mm -hmm. shower curtains, or vinyl floor, or vinyl flooring, etc. So many of these things that we see as innocent, they're just in the homes all over the place. Yeah. But yes, they do have the phytolates and the phytolates, it contribute to the overproduction of estrogen in the body. Yes. Perfume ingredients. Yes. I'm going to, I'm going to just stop you for a, while, a minute because these ingredients that I hear you, you mention in these, these products, I want the ladies to listen carefully. We are up on the break. So we are going to take the break and we are going to come back. And I want you to put emphasis on this because, you know, as you said, um, they might not want to listen, but this is what the Nature's Way program is about. So I'm going to, we are going to go for a short break, listeners, and we are going to come back and we are going to continue with our very interesting discussion on fibroids. Tune in this and every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Waves 96.3 FM for Nature's Way, an educational program to guide you in the use of natural remedies to enhance your life. That's Nature's Way this and every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Waves 96.3 FM. Nature's Way. Blessed Hope Final Care Provider Limited. You can depend on us for a high degree of dignity and care for your deceased loved one. When only memories remain, let them be beautiful by allowing us to provide for you the very best final care. Located at Languida Retreat St. Mary, below Peter Seal Crossing. Or number 519-9595. Blessed Hope Final, final care, care Provider Limited, Limited is a proud sponsor of Waves FM. Stammer, how are you do? Oh, you feel like the people them care with a card. You never hear about the auto rehab and alignment center. Them have a whole lot of service like alignment and wheel balancing and a whole lot more. You can call them up at 543-5068 at the only one in a St. Mary. The auto rehab and alignment center located at Trinity Road, Port Maria, before Sunside Square. The auto rehab and alignment center center is a proud sponsor of waves fm 96.3 
The views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the bloggers or callers and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of Waves 96.3 FM. Any content provided by our bloggers or callers are of their opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, or individual. Hey, welcome back to the Nature's Way program. You are tuned in to Waze 96.3 FM and we are having a very interesting discussion. And ladies, I want you to listen up because there are some, you know, information that you need to know because, you know, we are in the festive season and everybody dressing up and using these products and, you know, want to look pretty and all of that. But, you know, some of the things that we, we always see on this program, it's not just what you put in the body, but it's also what you put on the body. So Angela is going to share with us. Remember, listeners, viewers, you can WhatsApp us on 876-321-1889 or you can call us on 876-619-1537 or you can share your comments and views in our live chat on YouTube. Yes, sis. so let's continue. As you mentioned, it's not just about what we put into our bodies, but what we put on. on right. As I mentioned earlier, the skin, in fact, the skin is the largest organ. Mm -hmm. The skin has little mouths. The, the pores on the skin, whatever you put on your skin, it's absorbed into the body, into the blood. The blood is life. And if you're putting in stuff that will disturb your hormone on your skin, it gets into your bloodstream, you're yes. going to end up with problems. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned before, perfume ingredients, plastic products. So the products that we're using are lotions or shampoos or deodorants. And so many of these things, they do have hormone disruptors. And that is why we promote on our program and in my ministry and business and as a naturopathic doctor we promote natural skincare products so what are some products that you can use because i'm rattling off about what is it that you're supposed to not be using mm -hmm. because of the ill effect of these things yes. no we just don't take away stuff from you but what we do we also <laughs> replace it with good i like that and healthy <laughs> stuff yes so i've talked about the commercial made deodorants and the lotion and stuff like that and you're good for your body because of the excess estrogen that they produce in the body. Now, what can we use? Okay, are you ready? Do you have a pen and paper? Coconut oil. Debbie, do you remember when we were kids and that coconut oil had this strong smell and yes. we were ashamed of using it because everybody will know that you've got coconut oil in your skin. Right. But it is a natural product. In yes. fact, it's amazing for the skin and the body. And I, I have grown to appreciate the fragrance. Yes, myself <laughs> as well. Just olive oil. Yes. We've got shea butter. And some of these things, if you come into my store, I do sell natural raw shea butter, no additives, just raw shea butter, natural oils or butters, natural deodorants, Ladies, learn to make your own deodorants because the commercial bought deodorants also contribute to breast cancer. Oh, yes. Use natural soaps, use natural shampoos, use natural conditioners. And you can use your lemon, your sea salt, and your honey. Mm -hmm. Learn to make your own skincare products. I've learned how to make my own skincare products. I make my own deodorant as well. I no longer buy expensive face products and skincare products. I used to love some of the like the Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. The secret is out. Oh, no, you know what the secret <laughs> is? It is that these things destroys our bodies. So that is a secret that I'm letting out. Use the natural products. Yes. Also, you've heard of the BPA in the plastic bottles. And so ladies do not leave a plastic bottle in the sun in the car with the water and it gets hot and then you drink the water. It is breaking down the bottle and that seeps into your water or your juice or whatever it is that is left in the bottle in the sun mm -hmm. and our bodies absorb that. Mm -hmm. Also found in dyes, whether, whether hair dyes or clothing dyes, varnishes that we use on the floor, enamels, some flooring, adhesive, fungicides, antioxidants, dental sealants and artificial teeth. So, so many different things you're going to find BPA in. Mm -hmm. Other sources, and as I mentioned before, if you, if you leave the plastic bottle exposed in the heat, the water will 
migrates into that is the chemical will migrate, migrate into, into the, water. the water or the mm-hmm. liquid. Yes. Also, certain pesticides and residues are found in foods, including meats, fish, apples, tomatoes, and other soft fruits. Because it's in the pesticides, and they're using this now to prevent pests from taking up the food. But at the same time, it is seeping into the food. So we ought to be careful and use non-GMO food, eat only organic if possible and if you buy the apples you can make your solution of vinegar salt lemon water and rinse these things properly scrub them before you eat them yes and as we are on foods one of our viewers has um um sent a question is textured vegetarian tvp protein good for us (laughs) <laughs> I do not subscribe to those things simply because we don't know the process they've been through. Right. So what I'll say, eat your food as close to nature as possible. Yes, yes. Stick get it the as... grains and the, the legumes and... <laughs> exactly. So get it as close to nature. Get it from the earth. Eat your food. If you make it yourself, then at least you know the process you're putting it through. Right. But as to the ones that you're processing, we don't know the process. We don't know the ingredients that are in these foods. So as a result, I used to use them years ago, but I stopped using them. Mm-hmm. Even our hand sanitizer, and that's a big thing right now oh, with yes. everybody sanitizing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The, the chemicals in it also contribute to the over excess of estrogen in the body, antibacterial soaps. No, since I'm removing these things from you, what can you use? You can make your own sanitizer with aloe vera gel, tea tree oil or oregano oil. Mm-hmm. So I'm not taking away. I'm also telling you how to use natural products to make your own natural substitutes. I've made my own sanitizer as well yes. so you can use some if you want to make the jelly one you use the aloe vera gel mm-hmm. tea tree oil or oil of oregano i also use some alcohol and i've put some tea tree oil and whatever just to give it a nice fragrance you can mm-hmm. make your own stuff hormone distribu- this ruptures as i mentioned also your cosmetics so ladies who love the makeup and the lipstick and all them stuff that also has in the parabens and parabens contribute to what? The overproduction of, of estrogen. estrogen. And that is why you're seeing now lotions and shampoos and say PBA free or parabens free. Mm-hmm. That is why, because they have recognized based on the research. Yes. And even the, the natural skincare products that you're making, you'll see they say parabens free. So anything having to do with the stuff we're putting on or inside our bodies, lotion, shampoos, you name it. Yes. And some people have to definitely go through. And for other people, because of the low level of hormone, or maybe they may have done hysterectomy or whatever else might have taken place in the body, they now have to get hormone replacement therapy. And this also contributes to the overproduction of hormone in the body. Dairy milk and its byproducts. A lot of people now closing their ears. I don't want to hear about the dairy milk (laughs) because they love the eggs and the cheese. Ladies especially remove these things. Do you notice our young girls, 9 and 10, and they're developing so fast Mm -hmm. because you're feeding them on cheese and the milk and eggs. You have to remove these things from their diet. So anything that comes from the animals, what they're doing now, they're taking milk from pregnant cows and you're feeding it to us because when the cow is pregnant, it's producing a lot of milk. And remember the food industry, it's about production, production, production. Yes. Yes. Now when a cow is exactly Mm -hmm. when a cow is pregnant, it produces 33 more percent estrogen than it would when it was not pregnant. 33 times more estrogen when it is pregnant. And that is why we have to remove those. And for ladies who are blessed and you've got, you know, the excess in Jamaica, we call it fluff, right? They say fluff. So for ladies, if you're blessed, you've got the extra blessings on your body. This also will grab the estrogen and hold it into your body. So you will end up with that excess and yes. that also can contribute to fibroids so ladies who said yeah me well bless and me fluffy <laughs> yes there could be some drawbacks to that as well all yes, right yes now we talk about vitamin d deficiency get out into the sun get your sunlight especially for darker skinned people like us mm-hmm. we need at least 45 minutes or an hour and a half 
in the sun every single day. Yes, yes. I hope our listeners re remember because when we did the eight laws of health and we did sunlight, plenty of sunlight, this was one of the some of the information that they received. So I just want our listeners to recognize, Angela, that we have been saying these things on the program and they keep coming back. That's because right. remember now, these things are caused because of our lifestyle. Exactly. And that's, the, that's where the change needs to come. Exactly. Yes. And most of the diseases that we suffer from, they're called lifestyle diseases. Yes. And if we make the lifestyle changes, we can reverse these diseases. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the diseases related to vitamin D deficiency? Quickly, I'll give you a list. Polycystic ovaries, it's called PCOS. And many women are bothered by this hormonal imbalance colorectal cancer and breast cancer. It's wow. amazing how the research has shown that cancers are now due to vitamin D deficiency. Wow. And God is so merciful. The sun is out there. But people in the Caribbean should not have any of these diseases. But 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 this this is this is um this is confusing Angela because when I was growing up they tell you that if you stay in the sun too long you might get cancer. So you, the things that we, we, we learned when we were growing up, we see that later on in life when we do our research and when we do our studies, we recognize that these were just myths. Exactly. And that is why education is so important because there are a lot of things that we learned mm -hmm. that we have to unlearn. Right. And there are a lot of things that we need to relearn and learn. So it is so important. And yes, we were told that. But at the same time, overexposure to the sun, yes, can affect us. Mm -hmm. It will take a while to develop skin cancer. If you have a risk in your family, if several family members before may have had skin cancer, mm -hmm. then how to prevent that? Cover your body. Mm -hmm. Ladies going out in with the backs exposed, let the whole body, in fact, expose. Mm -hmm. The whole body is exposed. And now you're exposing yourself too much. So you want to ensure that if you're going out into the sun, protect your skin, cover yourselves. But the vitamin D is vitally important. Right. If you do not get enough vitamin D, you're exposing yourself to breast cancer by 600%. Wow. How much did I say? 600%. That's Colorectal alarming. cancer by 253%. Mm -hmm. And men too, you need to get, be getting your vitamin D as well. Because if not, you face a risk of prostate cancer or prostate enlargement by 95%. That number is high. Yes, and you'll find that you'll be more depressed, you'll be more fatigued, you'll be having pains and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just going to quickly jump over to what are some of the symptoms based on the time factor that you will experience if you have fibroids. Yes, and just to let our listeners know, it is now 5.45 p.m. here on Waze 96.3 FM and you're tuned in to the Nature's Way program. Remember, you can WhatsApp us. There is still time. You can call us and you can send in your comments on the YouTube. 876-321-1889 is our WhatsApp number. 876-619-1537. Our producer is standing by to take your call. And thank you, sis, because this is where all errors are supposed to be tuned in because we're talking about something that affects men and women yes and i say men because if you've got a woman a wife a daughter wh whoever it is a female in your life you are going to be the one around when she's suffering from all these symptoms and the pain and everything so what are some of the symptoms from fibroids how would you know yes one heavy and frequent menstrual periods so naturally a woman gets a period Every 21, 22, or 28 days, mm -hmm. if you're seeing it more frequent than once per month, you should be asking some questions. Yes. Infertility. So a woman who is suffering, she's not able to get pregnant. She's been trying for years. More than likely, you've got fibroids. It's blocking your tubes. There's something going on there while you're not getting pregnant. So that is something you should look into. Anemia. And why? What is anemia? It's when your blood count is lower mm -hmm. than it should be. Mm -hmm. Because if you're having heavy period, if you're having frequent period, it simply means that you're losing a lot of blood. 
and this is affecting the iron content or the iron level in the body. body. Mm -hmm. Women are, who are feeling tired and fatigue and weakness, bleeding between your periods. So if you're getting bleeding between your periods, that also could be contributed from the fibroids that you're experiencing. And you're feeling this sense of fullness in your pelvic area or the lower stomach area. It feels full. I've not eaten, but I've got this fullness mm -hmm. as if just something in my stomach. Some women say, oh, they feel pregnant, but they're not pregnant. Some women, they have an enlarged stomach and it's been for years. And if you're not careful, be careful, you congratulate somebody and say, oh, you're <laughs> pregnant. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Be careful because maybe they're not pregnant. It's just yes. fibroids that they're having. Yes, but yes. ladies, as mentioned before, there is hope. Increased vaginal discharge. Bleeding after intercourse. Pain in the back. Pain in the legs or your pelvis area. Pressure on the bladder. And this is sending you to the bathroom quite often. You're running every minute and you're wondering what is going on. The fibroids, it is so big. It is putting pressure on your bladder. Yeah. Or blocked urine flow. That's the opposite. So if you're not able to go as as normally as you should be going, mm -hmm. that could be contributed from fibroids. And sometimes there are no symptoms. Yes, yes, yes. Now, what are some of the factors associated with fibroids? Being fluffy, being overweight, obesity. So if you're Suffering from obesity, that's also another contributing factor. Also, never having given birth to a child. So for women who may not have given birth, that can also expose you because you've got all of that blood still in your body that you know you would have, that would have come together to form that child. Mm -hmm. But because you've not given birth, you still got that there. Yes. And for girls who had their period or period started before 10 no, I am aghast when I hear that girls are starting at eight and nine. These Whoa. are babies. Yes. But what is causing it? What are we feeding them on? And that is the problem. It's because of what we're giving our children to eat. They're becoming too mature too fast. And women ages 30 to 40 who are experiencing early menopausal symptoms. So if you're between the 30s and the 40s and you're already experiencing menopausal symptoms then you find that you may be having fibroids too and yes. women african heritage we're three to nine times more likely than caucasian women right and i'm gonna touch upon the food right now because a lot of people understand it better in a patois <laughs> so therefore yes. if you're eating the chicken and the turkey and the ham the beef the pork lobster crab whatever it is that you're eating these things contribute to what? Fibroids, because these are animals. They produce estrogen in their bodies. Now we're taking in estrogen and the body naturally produces its own. Yes. And women to develop fibroids even during pregnancy. Yes. Wow. Now I'm going to jump over what can we do. Remember, I did tell you that there is hope. Now let me ask a question. If you run into your kitchen, you recognize that, oh my word, your sink is clogged, water is overflowing mm -hmm. on the floor, and the kitchen is a mess. There's just water everywhere. My question to you, answer please in the chat. <laughs> what would you do first? One, would you get a mop and, you, and mop and bucket and start wiping up the water? Or would you turn off the pipe? Or three, would you unplug the sink? What would you do? Hmm. That's, That's a, question a question for my for... audience. Yes. <laughs> so you ran into the kitchen. Oh, my goodness. My, my sink is plugged. The water is running over. There's water everywhere on the floor. Would you grab the mop in your bucket and start just wipe, mopping up the water? Or would you unplug the sink? Or would you turn off the faucet? Which one would you do? Hmm. Now... The smart ones, did, did they provide any response to us? I'm, I'm still looking. All right. I'm still looking. <laughs> so I can hear some of the smarties <laughs> saying that we would turn off the faucet first, mm. correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, you got to turn it off first. Right. And so now, how do we turn off the faucet when you're, because we're having a problem. The fibroids is the water overflowing and that's a problem because it's not normal it's not natural that water is supposed to be running all over your floor mm -hmm. right now you got to do something about it and the first thing is to turn off the faucet 
know you're having fibroids, how do you turn off the faucet? Number one, no milk and dairy products because of high estrogen levels. No milk, no dairy products. So we turn off the faucet, number one, by our diet or foods. Yes. I'm going to repeat. We turn off the faucet by the number one thing is our diet or our foods. Ooh, right, right. People don't like to hear when you talk about food. Mm -mm. Unfortunately, we got to talk about it. Yes. So foods avoid is your dairy milk and your dairy products. That is your egg, your cheese, your butter. These are also high in proteins. So you yes. got to remove these high protein foods such as meat and eggs and butter and cheese. No hormone laden meat. Almost all the meats now are laden with hormone. We know how the food industry is. They have to produce enough to keep up with the growth of the population and the demand. Yes. They do not have time to allow a chicken to develop naturally over a couple of weeks or months. No. They have to load that poor little chicken with hormones, mm -hmm. thus making it ready overnight, literally. Yes. yes. Because it's about production it's about right. selling yes i just want to big up um a few persons those from canada who have joined us and those from um nadia and dawn welcome to the nature's way program and i hope you stay tuned and welcome we we welcome your comments we welcome your you know just to share the, whatever information you have with us as well <laughs> yes guys so thank you for joining us so as I mentioned before, you have to remove the hormone-laden meats. And almost every meat today is laden with hormones. So simply put, stop eating meat. It's that simple. Say yes. That, could you say that again? Because we have said that on the program. And, you know, we, we, we would you say that again, please? Yes. And I'm going to say it again in patois. <laughs> stop eating meat. All right? <laughs> stop eating meat. They're laden with hormone and it's a disruptor. Yes. Cancers, overweight, too much hormone, mm -hmm. among many other issues, allergies, you name it, hypertension, high cholesterol, heart diseases. Mm -hmm. So many of these diseases are caused from meat eating. Yes. No high fat foods such as fried foods and oils. Ladies, gentlemen, you can stop cooking with oil. I use water, just a little, one little teaspoon of water. You saute your onions, your garlic, whatever it is you're sauteing yes. and you cook your food. You don't miss any oil. No caffeinated drinks. So no coffee, no tea, no chocolate, no cocoa. Simply because they have been what? Caffeine. Yes. And we can tell you of substitute later if time allows. And so when we take away stuff from you, we give yes. you, we give you alternative. God is so amazing. If he yes. says stop doing X, then he said you can do Y. He just doesn't tell us to stop, 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 but he provides an alternative, the healthier yes. alternative for us. And, and as you mentioned, time, you know, it is against us. It's running. So I, I just want to, because we have a question here in the in the the chat as well as to what the, the natural remedies that we can use because this is the nature's way program the natural way that we go so you know i just want us to go and look at some of the natural things that we can use to 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 you know help us with the fibroids and that's exactly where we're heading because right. we've talked about the symptoms we've talked about what to avoid and so no sodas no mm -hmm. sugar alcohol no apple cider vinegar yes. no salty foods no nutmeg cloves cinnamon no white products no white rice no white flour none of those things at all yes eat a low fat diet right no have your vegetables your cruciferous vegetables steamed such as celery parsley peppers carrots if you're somebody healthy foods among beans alfalfa red clover among grains barley etc these are some of the stuff that we can increase in our diet. Yes. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Because what is happening, it's ensuring that you go to the bathroom regular and mm -hmm. this removes some of the excess estrogen in the body. And eat raw at least one day per week. Now, legumes, your beans, your grains, have your nuts, peas, be peas beans, etc. Right. Have your carbohydrates such as your brown rice, no white rice, your rolled oats, your millet, quinoa, buckwheat, etc. Mm -hmm. 
these are some of the foods that we're supposed to increase. All your seeds and nuts, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, chia seed, Brazil nuts, pine nuts, cashew, all these things. And drink a lot of water. Yes. Now we're moving down to, well, we're continuing with what to do and do not overeat. If you're overweight, you got to remove some of that weight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exercise. Exercise another is one of vitally the eight laws important, of which is, as you said, sis, yes. another of the eight laws of health. Yes. And I mentioned about getting the sun. And if you are in a country where you're not being exposed to the sun, like now it's winter in Canada and other places, get your vitamin D supplement. You have to be taking vitamin D supplement to help you with that. And those are the natural supplements. Oh, yes. Because they definitely. are available and at the Leap 2 store as well. Yes, I do have them at yes. my store in Ocho Rice. I'll tell you how to find me later on. <laughs> now, get adequate sleep. Yes. I don't have time to get into that right now get your exercise and now we're going to be looking finally at our herbal treatments yes yes now the first thing that we encourage is that you start with a cleanse mm -hmm. because remember what's happening that the body is filled off toxins right yes right and because your body the elimination organs are not functioning as they ought to because of the built-up of toxins. So as a result, first and foremost, begin with a cleanse. And you could do a natural cleanse of castor oil and lemon juice. Mm -hmm. You could get three tablespoons of castor oil and a quarter cup of lemon juice. Combine them together. You drink that. For the first day, I caution you, stay at home. So do it on a day when you do not have to go anywhere because you're going to be living in the toilet. <laughs> I mean, literally living because I've taken it myself because I do maybe my cleanse maybe once or so a month. And for that day, you're going to be staying in the toilet. So make sure that you're starting with the cleanse and you're going to be repeating this once every month on a day when you will be at home. Drink lots of water to keep yourself hydrated. Yes. We continue, first thing in the morning, a habit to practice is have a warm water with lemon juice. So have a glass of warm water first thing every morning with your lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Now, this helps to cleanse the liver as well as it has vitamin C and you need your vitamin C for your iron absorption. Yeah. So every morning when you get up, have two to four cups of water with your half a lemon, just a half of a lemon. And that is a good way to start your day. Yes. Now, what else do we do? We have to cleanse the liver. We have to cleanse the blood and we have to balance the hormones. So the liver is a filtration system. Mm -hmm. The liver is not functioning properly if it's overloaded with toxins. And that is why we focus on cleansing the liver, cleansing the blood, and then we're going to balance the hormones. Yes. No, we do have, it's a step that we have to go through. And that is why it's best to work with a professional like myself, because we have to put you on a rotation cycle. We have to work along with you to ensure that you're gaining the benefit from the treatment. So what are some of the herbs that we use? We use like slipper elm, yellow dot, golden seal, squaw vine, tea tree oil. But these are if you're making a suppository that you insert for women who are having fibroids. But as I mentioned earlier on, we'll have to definitely work along with you one-to-one -one if you're having a situation like that. You could get in touch with me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, persons who, um, just to, to let our listeners know that, you know, persons who want to get this treatment, they can contact you at um, the Leap2. Um, could you just tell our listeners where you are and, and give us their, their the, the number? Okay, so Leap to Health. It's Leap to, to health. health. And we're in Ocho Rice. We're at shop number seven, 80A Main Street. And that is Chuck's Plaza. Yes. It's right where Kelly's Tire is. Yes. There's a feed store. I'm upstairs, the feed store. Right. And my number is 876-459-9244. And it's Angela Hewitt. Okay, right. Right. You know, Angela, as I said, time really flies on this program and we are literally out of time, out of time. I don't know. I am going to put you on the spot. Maybe um, another time you can come to finish up because, you know, as always, some of the times we have to do two or three programs on a particular topic because there's so much information and we don't want to rob our listeners and our viewers 
of the information. So we we ask that sometimes we continue with the program. Um, I know you're a busy woman, so we will talk about that. I want to thank you so much, so, so much for coming in studio and sharing with us today. And I hope our listeners have taken note. We are going to go into, you know, some other information on, an, on another program, a part two of this program. And I trust that, you know, all that we, we have heard, that we will practice them and we will purpose in our hearts to change our lifestyle because that's what God wants us to do. He says, whatever we eat or drink or whatsoever we do, do all to the glory of God. And, you know, just a last word for our listeners. Thank you so much again for having me. I truly hope that the listeners were blessed and educated today. Yes. I didn't get a chance to get into the herbs that we use for like the liver cleanse and the blood cleanse. But yes. Talk to me if you do need to. You've got the number and you know how to find me. And the next time when I come back on, I can share as it relates to the herbal treatments that we use. God bless you as you walk into the new year. Remember, you have nothing to fear for the future unless you forget how God has led you through the past. Yes. Take care of yourselves and leap to health. That's what God wants for you. Thank okay. you, Debbie. Yes. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for the resources that you have provided for us. We thank you, Lord, for the listeners. I pray that you will be with them. And as they have listened and heard, that they will purpose in their hearts, that they will make a change so that they can be healthy. And the Lord, help them to turn their lives over to you because without you, nothing is possible. But with you, all things are possible. Be with us now, we pray and say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. It's goodbye from the Nature's Way show until next Sunday between the hours of 5 and 6 p.m. We will see you then. Please live right and be healthy. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. And I sent my word, and I healed your disease. I am the Lord.